I'm Gaz, and this is Let's Play Fallout 2. After 11 years, I returned to the Fallout series. The first Fallout game was actually the third series I'd ever done on this channel. And unlike the first game, I have never played this game. But I have done some reading, and I have found the official strategy guide that was written by one of the developers. So I have at least some idea what I'm doing. Let's go ahead and start. Uh... It's a partial lie that I have not played this. I have played the first temple run part just to test out characters because everyone has had a theory on the perfect build for your character here. And uh, my initial build, uh, not so great. Not so great for the first part. Um, unlike the first game, you don't start out with a gun. You are in melee for quite a while. And so I'm going to build a character that is melee not oriented, but friendly, at least so I can get through the first part. Might not be really sustainable uh, through the rest of the game. My initial build might have been good for that, but we'll go with this anyway. Okay, so what we're taking here is Gifted. Gifted is going to give me plus one to my stats. That is going to be good. We're also going to pick up another stat uh, via small frame. Now, I don't really like small frame because of what it does to your carrying weight. But it'll do. Okay, so I've written this down. We want to go 5 strength, 9 perception. Apparently, later on, we can find some items that will bump this up to 10, so I'm okay with that. We will actually lower endurance to keep that there. And let's see, raise this. Raise this to 9, because again, we can take that one up. And then, then what do we do? Lower luck, and there. Okay. So we've got full 10 action points via 10 agility. Um, that's good. What else? Okay. So I want to take small guns. Against my will, I will take melee weapons just so we can get it. Because as you can see, without it, uh, it we're at 40 here. Uh, it, it, the, 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 the beginning part is doable without focusing on melee. It just takes forever, because we miss pretty much everything. And then I'm going to take speech. Um, without melee, I would think of taking lockpick, or maybe science for later. Um, we're just going to have to put uh, some skill points into that to artificially bump those up. My initial uh, picks here would have been skilled, which actually gives me a bonus in skill points, which would be uh, useful for helping me sort of pick that up and then maybe bruiser to get some of the extra points here um, Yeah, this is what we're gonna go with here We will be Gaz Jr. Uh, because I guess we are a descendant of the dweller from the first game and From what I saw via the wiki we are the grandchild, but the next descendant in between is the village elder. So we would not be Gaz the Third. Um, okay. So yeah, melee damage here, not so great, unfortunately. Bruiser would bump that up to five, but this is a build uh, that seems to work pretty well. And I, so I, I would definitely want the uh, perception and agility here. And intelligence is good for uh, skills and, and whatnot, but uh, charisma having it at least six. Uh, allows us to take companions. So you get companions based upon half of this, so we can have a party of four, which uh, is pretty good. Also, um, I mentioned finding the, the manual, uh, or not the manual, the, the, the strategy guide. The strategy guide is actually what I first saw way back in the day, uh, which got me into the Fallout universe, and I was very surprised because flipping through that guide, uh, I actually found out that there is sex and porn in the game. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention, I am using the Restoration Project uh, mod. Apparently the game had a ton of unfinished content uh, in the original release, and then a bunch of fans decided to put it in, into the game and uh, fix some things. So it's not quite the old school game, but uh, it's going to have some stuff in it. Uh, right, okay, now I think we're ready to go. Come in, Chosen One. There are things you must know. The V 
village is dying, the signs are everywhere. Withering crops, dying Brahmin. Sick children. There is hope, however, a slim hope that few know of. The old discs speak of an item called the Garden of Eden Creation Kit. It is said it can bring life to the wasteland. This will be your quest, if you prove yourself worthy. For that proof, you must first journey to the Temple of Trials. If you survive, come back to me. We will talk more. Our life is in your hands, Chosen One. Prove yourself. Find the Gek. Be our salvation. And here we go. All right. Nope, that's not what I want. Come down here. We see a guy, Clint, a fellow tribesman. Good day to you, Gaz Jr. I guess maybe I should have just called myself Jr. You've not completed the trial of the Elder and may not pass. Uh, I've got some questions. Forgive me, but I have no answers to your questions. Take the trial set before you buy the Elder and prove yourself worthy to lead our people. Can we barter? I've got to get in the habit here of bartering before I talk to people. Because there are a few characters which apparently you can uh, get some stuff from, but only if you bother to, uh, to barter first. Oh yeah, uh, just so you know, there's a rock right here which tells you the mod is running. Apparently that is how you are supposed to be able to tell that uh, the mod is properly installed. Okay, uh, first thing I need to do is not that. We need to open the inventory. We are given a spear here. I'm going to put that into item slot 2, which is the kick slot. Um, so my character here, without the melee weapons, unarmed is the better stat, or better skill, I should say. And it seems like a lot of people seem to prefer just doing an unarmed run because of that. Uh, I am not going to do that. That's why I took the melee weapons, so we're going to at least have a spear initially here. All right, let's get in here. Gonna come up here. Uh, this first part's going to be a little bit slow. Slower, I think, than the first game. Really? Come on. There we go. But, oh come on, even at 51%. Yeah, so without that, and the original build that I had when I went through here on a test run, uh, gave me like 36% hit, and oh my god, I was just running away from these guys all over the place. Now, the, uh, the guidebook, uh, the one that was uh, written by one of the developers, he actually talks about having basically three archetypes for characters. And um, the, the way they designed the game was so that players could solve puzzles and get through the game in multiple different ways. That not everything requires combat. Um, you can steal, you can talk your way out of things. Uh, but the, the archetypes for the characters um, are not really, I mean, they're very pigeonholed. Um, so I, I tried to go for something that I think, uh, it will kind of allow me to see all the content in one go, rather than have to rely upon, uh, replayability here and go through multiple times. Mm, I didn't want to have two of them. We're gonna, we're gonna run a little bit, put some distance between me. And the ants? Okay, it seems like only one of them caught me. That's good. Now the spear allows me to have a two-tile uh, reach, which is nice. Good, good. Let's 
Come on, Ant. Oh, okay, that one... Did not see me. Alright, there we go. Um, the guide also mentions that you always want to walk away from at least the initial enemies here because the action points that the enemies require to uh, attack um, are not enough if they move. So basically, if, if one of the uh, creatures can get a... Uh, I guess I should have maybe stayed there because I, I keep forgetting that I think it's because of my perception uh, on the second round I get two attacks in a row. So do we, do we dare? Eh, let's just walk away for a little bit. Um, anyway, yeah, so like, uh, I think it's the scorpions that are in here uh, will get two attacks, but only if they're stationary. If you move, they only get one. So... Alright, we will take some healing powder. Now, if I am careful enough, I might be able to make it out of here without having to use any of these items. But that also depends a lot on luck as well. Alright, so this should be a room of scorpions. There is, uh, if you hold down the shift key, it will highlight things on the ground. I wish there was a key that highlighted enemies, because this is a little hard to see. Just a little bit. See, I don't know where he is right now. Alright, just give him a little bit more of a, a lead there. Okay, now he's coming. Mm, mm. Let's go a little bit further. That might be too close. He might still get an attack. Nope. Oh, good. So, if I wanted to avoid this altogether, I should just walk away now, and then I'd only get one hit on him. Okay, good. I took a gamble there that I was able to kill him. Because otherwise, he would have had to move, but he would have gotten his, his attack. I believe there's one more in here. I have been through this starter temple of trials here a few times, so at least I I have a, an idea of what I'm doing here. Beyond this, though, it's going to be... I'd be surprised, really. I thought there was another one in here. There he is. And I just got attacked. Thankfully, he missed, because otherwise I would have been poisoned. Shoot, that was a bad move. Um, all right, well, we'll move. Yeah, we'll go to, I guess. Oh, shoot, yeah, I forgot. God damn it. Second round, I get... There we go. I gotta remember that. Because otherwise I'm going to end up in some trouble here by the end of all this. All right. is a miss. So, we're gonna run away. Oh, shoot. Second... Fuck. <laughs> Second round. Alright. I'll, I'll get it drilled into my head at some point. Now I don't think I'll get a second chance, though. So now we're gonna run away. Because otherwise I will stand there and I will take a hit. Take all the scorpion tails because we can trade them. And I'm not sure. Let's see if we look here. Scorpion tail. 
Uh, yeah, weight 5 pounds. So I'm not sure if the mod has changed the weight on those or if there was a difference between when the guidebook came out and the final game was released, but the guidebook says that those tails weigh 20 pounds apiece. So with... Uh, let's see... Um, with, with the trait where I lose carrying capacity, it's a little bit of a risk. Hey, that was pretty good. One shot him. Where are you? Ah. I really wish... Okay. Fine. I really wish there was a way to, uh, to make the walls disappear, too. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna back up on this one. Not gonna take the risk on that. Ah, uh, oof. Okay, that was a little close. Oh shit! Okay, I took a risk. At least we only take one hit, and we're poisoned. Ya bastard. That's alright. There is an antidote in here somewhere. I just like to save freebies if I can early on. Alright, we get ourselves a new spear. Now we can switch this mode down here. Not that. No. End combat. Uh, to throw as well. And, uh, throwing skill, not with this build, but, uh, the guidebook suggests that if you use one of the archetypes that it provides, it suggests that, uh, throwing is a better option, just because you are so poor with the spear. Door is locked. Alright, it is time to try our 20% lockpicking skill. And we get it on the first try. Uh, I feel like that's built in. I, I'm not entirely sure that that is not scripted. But here we go. Alright. So, this is a trapped room. Um, I think, if I can get just a little bit closer, there we go. We're going to try and gain some experience. Let's see. Skills. Uh, yeah. Because you get 25 experience apiece here. We'll see how long this takes. Because I definitely don't want to spend, like, 20 minutes trying to disarm all the traps here. It doesn't seem to be going too well. Wow. There we go. That's one of them. Let's try another one here. It's free experience. It's kind of good. Okay. Kind of a shame to give it up. It comes so easily, you know? What I mean by easily is that it's patience is what it's costing. But I am fully aware, there we go, uh, that I am also doing a let's play, so I don't want this to be tedious to watch. So we still have a ways to go to get out of here. All right, one more time. All right, let's just go. So, once again, thanks to the color palette, it is very difficult to see. There are multiple traps everywhere. But look at that, I mean, one, two, three, four, five more 
And then there's... pretty sure there's another one up here too, so that's 150 experience just sitting there on the ground. Gotta be careful not to pull both of them this time. I feel like if I get close to try and utilize my second attack, we're gonna ju do just that, so... Let's try running away. Maybe step forward one more. Alright, that might be enough for me to get within range. I'm already poisoned, so... May as well take the risk. I'll back up, though, at least. Give myself some distance there. Oh, come on. Still not enough to kill it. I almost wonder if maybe... Come on! I, there's not really a, a way... I guess I could turn around. Um, I'm not sure if facing has an impact on, uh, the damage you take or, or your fighting ability or some such. Your chances of dodging. If I get right up in its face, I might have it. There we go. 57%. That's much better. I'm also not sure if it's kind of like Battletech rules, where the more you move, uh, you get like a movement penalty, and you get less of an opportunity for... Uh, okay, you know what I'm actually going to do? Uh, less of an opportunity to hit, like it gives you a penalty for that. I'm actually going to pause here, and going to go back and get all these traps. Alright, that took too long. Um, so long, in fact, that I actually took a damage from poison, so we gotta go get out of here. I did not quite escape. I, thanks to my high agility, I did escape some damage, but uh, I triggered a couple traps, and as a result, I got these sharpened poles that I can use to throw, uh, but I won't because I only have a 30% throw. But I have them. Take that plastic explosive. I find this to be uh, fairly questionable. Um, let's see, I guess we can get close. This is uh, the Temple of Trials, right? Now, shoot. So, uh, this is like, you know. Now we're out of it. Um, uh, it's sp supposed to be the thing that uh, tests the chosen one, and uh, there's there's a deliberate need and use for plastic explosives. It's like a one-time door uh, that I don't really understand. All right, get closer. Good grief! Come on. The ants, I don't believe, have anything useful on them, so there's no point in checking them. Chest, thank you. Alright, we will take that and use it. Get rid of that poison. Alright. Uh, there might yet be some scorpions. I think there are, in fact. But I, I'm going to be more cautious <laughs> with it. Um, I think that there is actually one more antidote in here, but I would like to be able to keep it. So we will take our time with that. Come on, ant! Notice me. Come on, ant. 
What are you doing? There we go. All right. You see a metal door. We leveled up too. It's an impenetrable door. All right. So this is where we... Well, hold on a minute. I think I can do it this way. So we want to set the timer to, let's say, 30 seconds. Drop it. And then get the hell out of here. Um, so it recommends at least doing the 10 second one. Possibly more, though, because, as it says here, your inept handling, it, dis it detonates prematurely. That felt like 30 seconds, though, so I'm not entirely sure that that's accurate. Anyway, we should level up. First thing we're going to level up is speech. That is going to help me when I get out of here, and it needs to be above 50%. Now, what do I take after that? I mean, I'd kind of like traps, <laughs> but I'm not sure that's necessary at the moment. Why don't I go ahead and bump this up? like 30. We'll bump traps up to 20. How about? All right. Probably should have done barter. That's another one I'd like to... Nearly avoid a projectile on the wall. I forgot about that. There's a trap right there. Uh, let's see. As we'll pick up that spear. Who knows? Might be trading material. All right. Yes. High agility is... Uh, doing me a lot of favors here. And yeah, there's some scorpions down there. Come on. Come on, you bastard. Dude, you're right here somewhere. So, uh, I would definitely say that it was a good thing that I spent some time. Uh, you know what? If I turn on high, here we go, on the map, when an enemy triggers, I think it shows me where the other enemies are. Definitely a good thing I went and got those traps defused. Got a little bit of extra experience out of that. Oh, come on. I'm pretty sure there's one in here. But I don't want to trigger two of them. Okay, well, there was that one. I also don't want to get close enough that I'm going to trigger that one. So I am going to waste some time units here. But I want to pull one enemy, not all of them. Might even be enough to just sit here for another go. Yeah, okay. Should I waste it getting closer? I mean, I guess... It is a considerable boost. You know what? I'm going to play cautious here. Oh my god. I don't want to waste more points putting it into uh, unarmed and melee weapons, but holy crap, dude. Ah, oh, you little bastard. I'm running away too far now. Just freaking kill him. You're kidding me. I guess maybe I should just take a risk and do it one after the other here. Ah, I knew that was a mistake. At least I dodged it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Do it again! Thank goodness for that agility. Should I try throwing those spears? Only got a 30% on those. So... Okay, here comes this one. 
So this one I'm going to get up in his face because I have the ability to do so. It might have been a mistake though. I might only get one. Yeah, okay. If I had stayed a little further back... Come on, you bastard! If I'd stayed just one more away, I would have gotten a second strike on him. Jesus. Okay. Just make sure there's not one hidden in here. Okay, I guess there's only two. Could have sworn there was three, but maybe not. There's our second antidote that we now get to keep. What's my, uh... That's not what I'm after. Inventory, there we go. Okay. Still well within my range here. Didn't I have 120? Didn't I have 120 as my max? Why is it 110 now? Maybe because of that? Hmm, I guess no, whatever. And again, in, in this game, apparently, um, like, we also have access to a car later, and uh, a, so a trunk, and so between the party of companions you can have and that vehicle, uh, I guess this is only an ant, um, your, your carry weight apparently is not that big of a deal. Oh, right. Okay, let's just waste it. Oh, come on. And we took a hit. Criminy. Nothing in the chest, okay. A fire pit. And Cameron, a fellow tribesman. Is there a pot? Uh, we can't explore the pot, so let's go talk to him. Greetings, Gaz Jr. I have the honor of being your final challenge. To continue in your quest, you must defeat me in unarmed combat. Shall we begin? This person will not barter with you. I've got some questions first. What would you like to know? Why do we have to fight? The path of the Chosen One is not an easy trial to walk. You will be faced with many challenges throughout your lifetime, and the most difficult of these will be dealing with your fellow man. There will come a time when diplomacy and tact will prove to be useless, and your hand must be raised instead. This challenge prepares you to face another human. Look him in the eyes, and know that you may have to kill him. I disagree. I think that a peaceful solution to any problem is possible, especially because I chose speech. Well, you may be correct, but not in your current situation. You must defeat me to succeed in your trial. Now look, I don't know all of your strengths and weaknesses, and you don't know mine. Accidents do happen, so what if one of us inadvertently kills the other? Let's just end this now, rather than take that chance, okay? Apparently you can die in this trial, and have to start all over. I see your point. I wouldn't want to be responsible for killing you when all I meant to do was test your mettle. Very well. You may pass, chosen one. Thanks! I'll see you back in the village. Um, you apparently get 300 points for besting him, but for tricking him, you get 600. It also includes the Way of the Thief, um, where you can just steal the the key from his pocket, apparently. It's good to see you again. How may I help you? Uh, will you barter with me now? No. 
Yeah, I just thought I'd say hi. See you later. Yeah, so if we did miss out on some things, I could go back in there. Um, apparently, through the progression of time, which I may actually want to pause for a moment here, through the progression of time, uh, we can come back here, but it is less and less likely. Like, the, the village will start to deteriorate. Um, but we don't know about that just yet. And uh, so anyway, yeah, our, our ability to go back into the temple and mess around uh, diminishes over time. But anyway, uh, successful. 600 experience points right there, and we have leveled up. That's pretty great. And we're now heading into the village, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to end it here, and I will see you next time.